Hey parents, do you know what to do when someone gives you an attitude and tries to put you down? Most of us know how to process a situation like that, but can you imagine how your child might feel? It's a scary thought, but it's one that you should definitely consider in the social world that we live in today. According to surveys conducted by the National Center for Education Statistics in 2001, around 90% of children between the ages 5 and 17 have access to computers with around 59% using the internet regularly. Shockingly, 25% of children as young as five years old use the internet, and that rises to 50% around the age of nine. By the time they've grown into the middle of adolescence between 15 and 17, the number rises up to 75%. Remember that these statistics were from 2001. Since then, access to the internet and computers has increased, as well as a shift towards more screen and media parenting time. So don't be surprised if these numbers have increased over the decade and a half of development. So do you know what your children are exposed to on the internet? It's hard to monitor your children's activities while balancing other responsibilities in your life, but it's important to do so. Over the course of 11 years between 1999 and 2010, over 120 bills that either amend or introduce bullying and harassment intervention have been adopted by state legislators. This leaves most states with laws that mandate schools to have clear policies against bullying, according to the National Association of State Boards of Education. These numbers reflect on an increase of harassment in school-aged children as well as incidents containing violence, suicide, and murder that were the result of bullying. But the internet is a place where these actions can go unnoticed by adults, can be anonymous, and can be spread even further. So what is there to do? There's plenty that you can do, as a parent, to help protect your child against the dangers of cyberbullying. One major thing is to maintain a close relationship with your child. If your child is a victim of any type of bullying, they may be more inclined to talk to you if they feel like you could protect them. According to research conducted by Mustafa Sahin, an associate professor of neurology at Harvard Medical School, peer empathy training has been a success when combating bullying. The feeling of having someone close who can help reestablish your child's self-esteem is important to nurture a healthy sense of self. This could also be accomplished by sibling support. Children who have siblings tend to relate more with their sibling than with adults when they're close in age. Along with these, support systems are in place that help both the child victim and the parents of child victims. Many schools have anti-bullying systems in place to aid during times of peril. Along with schools, many websites that are run by parents or by the government have systems of support to gain a better understanding of bullying and ways to relieve the problems that come with it. Among those websites are StopBullying.gov, AntiBullying.net, and Pacer.org. Never be afraid to reach out for advice if this ever occurs to your child. They depend on you and your actions inevitably shape their future.